Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well you might actually have seen my video showing that uh, well Microsoft has now said that Windows 11 is available for broad deployment. Broad deployment means every compatible machine technically should see it as it is now pushed to everybody. By the way Microsoft is saying that this is an optional update and so it is going to stay an optional update. So you'll see it in Windows Update, but if you don't click the download and install, it's just going to stay there. It's not going to do anything uh, really optional here. Now, if you don't see it, maybe you want to move on to Windows 11 and you're like, well, I'm compatible. I got a minimum requirements. Everything should be fine, but I still don't see it. Um, or it says you're still not ready yet because that also could show up in your Windows Update that you're not ready yet. What could be wrong, uh, especially now that it's broad deployment? One of the biggest uh, problems for deployment right now that we know of and Microsoft knows about is the uh, compatibility issues with the Intel Smart Sound technology. So this was discovered in November, as you see here, that's when they uh, actually started looking at it. It creates a blue screen for some of you. Now. The problem with this update is that the sound driver itself needs to be updated. And a lot of that is done with the manufacturer or the manufacturer, your PC, whatever the PC brand you have. Uh, or if it's, you know, a, a, a desktop that you built yourself, then it's the motherboard uh, has the sound Intel smart sound technology drivers need to be uh, searched on the uh, motherboard manufacturer website. And not everybody has an updated driver yet as of May 2022. So this is one of the first one. If you have Intel smart sound technology drivers, that might be one reason why it is not showing or it is just saying that you're not yet compatible. And that will change if you can update that driver. And it's an external thing. So it's not Microsoft that will actually fix this. It's the manufacturer that needs to fix it with the drivers. That means you need to go and check out for the Intel Smart Sound Technology updates that might be available for your computer. What else could block this for the rest? It could be software you have installed. This happens regularly that some software maybe has compatibility issues. And so that will prevent the most common software that blocks updates to a new version of Windows is third-party antiviruses. If you are running something else than the standard Windows security, it might be the cause of why Windows 11 is still not showing up. So that will actually be fixed by an update to that antivirus at some point where everything's going to be compatible. Um, it could be drivers. So if you have a PC that you haven't looked at, you know, the different drivers and uh, of your system, first of all, in the settings and Windows Update, there could be a separate section for option for, you know, other types of update, updates, including driver updates for your PC that you might want to make. That might change the status of your PC. Uh, the other thing, of course, is to look at your manufacturer website for your machine for your specific computer for um, driver updates for the different hardware of your system that also might trigger the windows 11 uh, update so but you need to find your model number which is usually on the bottom part of your laptop or on the side or the back of a desktop computer go to the manufacturer find your model find the drivers that are available and check if there are updates and maybe move on to the later versions of these drivers that might actually fix the hole that you have on Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.